Which city is a better place to live in, Seattle or Tacoma? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Gus Montgomery. In today's video, we are comparing Seattle and Tacoma, Washington to find out which is a better city for you to live in. All right, let's look at the home prices of Seattle and Tacoma, Washington. When you're looking at the median home prices for a single family home in Tacoma, it's $460,000 versus Seattle, which is $875,000. When looking at condos, the median home price for Tacoma is $380,000 versus Seattle, which is $542,000. So as you can see, it's a lot cheaper to live in Tacoma versus Seattle, which is why it's very common for people who work in Seattle to live in Tacoma and make that commute in the morning for work. Now let's look at traffic in Seattle and Tacoma. But let's be honest, it's bad in both cities. The biggest thing is when you live here, you learn how to navigate which times of the day to make that drive. If you can time it accordingly, then that's ideal. But obviously, if you have a very routine work schedule, some days you can't avoid that traffic. Uh, now, if you are choosing to live in Tacoma and you work in Seattle, uh, it's important to keep in mind that commute from Tacoma to Seattle without traffic, it's about 35 to 45 minute drive. However, if you're making that commute in the mornings from Tacoma to Seattle, keep in mind it's going to be a lot longer commute. For example, if you're leaving during peak times in the a.m., let's say 6.30 on a Monday morning, your commute can range from 50 minutes to an hour and a half. Driving back home after work, it's going to be around that same commute time. And that is pretty long. That's almost a three-hour round-trip commute every work day. So definitely keep that in mind. If you do choose to live in Tacoma and work in Seattle, those commutes can be rough. Now, let's say you are an avid traveler. You want to live in close proximity to the airports. Lucky for you, Seattle and Tacoma is conveniently located close to SeaTac International Airport, which is the largest airport in Washington State. From Seattle to the SeaTac Airport without traffic, it's about an 18 minute drive. From Tacoma to the SeaTac Airport, it's about a 30 minute drive without traffic. So only a 12 minute difference. But again, when you add the traffic aspect, if you are leaving during peak commute times, those 18 and 30 minute drives can be a lot longer. But not only is Seattle 12 minutes closer than then Tacoma, we also have another advantage when it comes to the airport, and that is the light rail system. And the light rail system stops in various neighborhoods in Seattle, so you can get a ride to the SeaTac airport for less than $4. And depending on where you get picked up in Seattle, the ride time can be less than 50 minutes. That's super convenient because you don't have to worry about getting a ride to the airport and back. Tacoma doesn't have that option so Seattle does have that advantage. Now also Seattle has one more advantage if you are an avid traveler and that is in close proximity to the Painfield Airport. Uh, Painfield Airport is located in Everett, Washington which is located 30 minutes north of Seattle without traffic. Uh, the cool thing about the Painfield Airport it's a small airport very well maintained very modern kind of similar to the vibes of a hotel lobby. It's great for certain flights to states like California, Arizona, Nevada, and Alaska. So if you're flying in a city in one of those states, Painfield is a great option. And Seattle's only 30 minutes away from the airport. Let's talk about things to do in Tacoma and Seattle. Now, Seattle is by far the bigger city than Tacoma, but Tacoma has a lot of great options of things to do. A lot of history in that city with the Museum of Glass, the Car Museum, the History Museum, uh, the Art Museum. You also have things like the Point Defined Zoo. It has a really good art scene. It actually has the largest bookstore in all of Washington State located in Tacoma. Places like Ruston Point, which has a beautiful walkway with different restaurants and businesses nearby. You also have the Tacoma Dome, which has a lot of well-known establish events from musical concerts, uh, comedic performances, uh, sports, 
uh, monster truck shows. There's so many things that happen in that Tacoma Dome. In Seattle, you have a plethora of options comes to things to do. You have the Client Pledge Arena, which is a modern state of the art arena that just got renovated and includes uh, the community performances, uh, musical acts, and also all professional sports teams play in Seattle from football, baseball, hockey, uh, professional basketball when they come back, uh, Washington Athletics, you have soccer as well, if I didn't mention that before. So you have all that happening in the city of Seattle. Also, you have a lot more smaller concert venues for those musical acts and comedic performances. Seattle just has more options when it comes to events and also nightlife. If you're a fan of nightlife, Seattle just has more options than Tacoma. And when we look at the outdoors of Seattle and Tacoma, again, they both have great options. Just live in the Pacific Northwest. You're surrounded by so many great things as far as parks, uh, hiking trails, uh, snowboarding and skiing resorts. So if you live in Tacoma or Seattle and you're an outdoors person, you're good either way. Another option, if you do not want to live in Seattle or Tacoma, you can live in one of the cities in between. you got cities like Renton, Federal Way, Auburn, Kent, just to name a few. Those are cities that are cheaper than living in Seattle. If you actually are in close proximity to driving to Seattle versus Tacoma. And like I mentioned before, it is really common to live in one of the cities south of Seattle and make the commute to Seattle for work. So if you want to be closer to Seattle, but you want to pay the Seattle pricing, then look in those cities that I just mentioned. All right, when you're looking at Seattle versus Tacoma, there's a lot of great qualities in each city. Seattle's going to have more options to various things because it's a bigger city. And one of the biggest design factors for people living in Tacoma versus Seattle is the home pricing. Seattle is way more expensive than Tacoma, and that seems to be the design factor for most people, which obviously makes a whole lot of sense. But if you do not want to pay the prices of Seattle, you have a lot of great option by living in the city of Tacoma and the other cities south of Seattle that I mentioned before. There's great vibes in Seattle, there's great vibes. In Tacoma, every city has their different areas which you might vibe with more than others. The biggest question is going to be do you want to live closer to Seattle because of all the events and festivities that it has to offer? And how often do you want to be a part of those events? That's going to be the biggest thing, as well as the pricing of the cities. That's going to help you decide which is the best fit. But that is it for the video Seattle versus Tacoma, Washington. Thank you for taking the time watch the video with me if you value this content please like and subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll continue to provide more value going forward till next time take care